Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Frenz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today it's a quick masculine card using the clear block and markers. I did this technique before, but these colors are very different, so I decided why not shoot a video. Uh, many people, I think, are like me, are visualized, so uh, when I get time to shoot a video, why not? I start with my clear block, and uh, usually when I do this technique, I start with cleaning my clear block with sand um, and sanitizer, and I just rub that and take a rag and then wipe it. Some people say, oh, I wouldn't wash my uh, clear block with hand sanitizer, and for me, it worked perfect. I guess I do have a little scratch on it, but I don't know if it's from the hand sanitizer or where I just toss it in the a door or what for me hand sanitizer were great it take the sticky stuff or whatever on it so first thing you're going to do this one here it's three and three quarter by uh, four and i did three and three quarter by three and three quarter on this one this is watercolor paper uh let's uh start with um we're going to start with hello honey on the top so I'm going to start with Hello Honey, and I just scribble. And you can about see where you finish. Then I'm going to go with um, Calypso Coral. And then the next one, it's Lost Lagoon. And Lost Lagoon, I'm just going to do a little bit of it. For some reason, I'm not checking where I open, and I just open the wrong way so I just do a little bit of the Lost Lagoon and then the next one I'm using um, Tempting Turquoise see I'm I am um, I'm out of my comfort zone and the colors here now I'm going to bring my inky rag here and what I'm using it's our spritz bottle this one is empty and I just filled one here it is I'm using the spritz bottle I love the spritz bottle and um, just put regular uh, water in this and I'm gonna go hopefully I'm not in my camera there just make sure that it spritz all over now I'm gonna bring back my paper piercer and my um, cardstock on top and again that's watercolor cardstock and I just gonna go like this just rock it a little bit that it's very absorbed now you see it's kind of marbleized, right? I absolutely love it that way. But another if you can leave it like that, I think that look good or you can take your uh, aqua brush and brush it if you want. See, I just keep on going down and brush it. And the top I want the top a little bit darker in my yellow. So I'm going to take this here and just do a few brush strokes. And then come back with this. And then the side I'm just going to wiggle it a bit so it's a little bit more. Uh, here we go. So then you see it's very different this one it's darker this one it's lighter and then I did another one here see how marbleized it is I still want more dark here so um well I'm gonna do this here and another thing I could do it's bring my ink pad really um where's my brush so let me get the two ink pad. Let's see that you want to add more color. If I bring my Calypso and my Hello Honey, I, you can take this here. And that is just if you want to add more colors. Go like this. Make sure you get plenty of water too. So here we go. That would be plenty. And now I'm going to wipe that here before I go in my other color. Squeeze, open. Here we go. I just wanted a more darker color here. The blue, it's pretty good. And usually I want it make that it look watercolor. Now before we do the next step, though, what I do with my quote uh, brush, I just... 
and see when you put the cap be careful see this one here she need a haircut now just be careful when you put it in um, I'm using the wetland the stamp set the wetland and we're going to use these on this is too dry to uh, stamp now I would take um, uh oh I put my card on top of this now I just going to wipe this here then I'm going to take this and I'm going to use my stays on and I'm going to put one right there now I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper and with the scrap paper I'm going to put that at the bottom here because I don't want it to go on, kind of on the white but I want it shorter there et voila that is it my friend how this was done now for the frame around it I'm going to show you quick how I done that that even somebody in kindergartner could do that so I would go just line line like this I'm sorry about the phone we're just going to ignore it today And that is it, my friend. I'm going to have all the dimension on my blog for uh, the rest of the cardstock. Just wiggle a little bit. Et voila! This is done, my friend. See how pretty it is when it's marbleized? Well, hope you enjoyed this. For all your stamping up product, visit my blog at frenchystamps.com. And two, I'm going to have the, direct, uh, the dimension for the rest of the cardstock. Thank you and have a great day.